So health is uh, an interesting topic and a very good topic. I want everyone to, to be as happy and healthy as they can. And vegan, vegans get um, a lot of, what about your B12? What about your protein? What about your iron? There might be other nutrients that you guys can think of. The reality is, is that I haven't eaten animal products for 10 years. And the reality is, is that you can get every nutrient you need from plants. Um, you just need to find out the plant that you need to get it from. If it's protein, then you get it from beans, legumes, tofu, those kind of things. And on top of that, so people are like, oh, a vegan diet is unhealthy. And it's like, who said that? Because the reality is, is that the British Dietetics Association, the NHS, the American Dietetics Association, the American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics, and a whole group of other really renowned health bodies say that you can be a healthy vegan at every stage of life from birth until death. So the, there's a lie that you can't be healthy. You can be unhealthy as a vegan and you can be unhealthy as a meat eater or somebody who eats animal products, but the reality is you can be healthy as a vegan. This is a free PDF for those that are interested um, who want to read up more about it. It's available uh, if you just type Bertie Justice, healthy free vegan diets, free PDF, it should come up in Google. People are skeptical of a vegan diet and that's healthy. Am I gonna be healthy? Am I gonna live long? Um, is it gonna be bad for my health? But I want people to have that same cynicism and that same skepticism of the animal products that we're putting into our bodies. Because the reality is, is that a vegan diet is naturally lower in saturated fat contains no animal cholesterol. There's little or no chance of containing things like VCJD, which is the human form of BSE, Salmonella, swine flu, Campylobacter, MRSA, Zika virus, um, plastics, um, which is called PCBs, which accumulate in fish. You've got heavy metals like mercury in fish as well. All these things that when we have all this attention on a, a vegan diet being negative, but no one's actually addressing the animal products and the, the, the extra effect that they can have on us. So I want people to be cynical and I want people to question their diets, but I want them to question the animal products with the same amount of questioning they do for a vegan diet because when you look into it, it doesn't make sense. And when you connect the ethics and the rights of these animals, it doesn't make sense. Bird flu um, came from, came from uh, us hyper-confining these chickens or it may have come from another source but these aren't environments, these aren't healthy environments to keep animals in. And the reality is, is that um, it's not just bird flu. We had swine flu as well uh, in 2019, uh, 2009. And so from these viruses and these pandemics, people died. People lost their lives. And to me, um, instead of changing, like making the, the, the cages bigger for the pigs or making them have better um, conditions, why don't we just get rid of the root cause? And that root cause of these pandemics is animal agriculture. If we, if we keep, if we keep um, changing the system a little bit, we're just gonna be waiting for the next one to come because these conditions that we keep these animals in create these um, superbugs. Well, interestingly enough, um, apples, bananas, cherries, lentils, chickpeas, quinoa, Falafel, vegan curries, vegan noodles, never caused a pandemic. I've never heard. I've never heard. I've never heard of a clementine causing a pandemic, but I have heard of pigs and chickens and cows and uh, mad cow disease and those kind of things. It doesn't happen in the plant world. So for me, that's another reason to shift towards eating plants. And I was talking to the guys earlier, and I used to be uh, some of the people here earlier, and I used to be a really, really massive environmentalist. I was like doing projects and spending six months on a project in Plymouth and trying to get people to recycle more and look at what they're doing and don't fly and catch trains and all these kind of things. But what I wasn't doing was addressing the biggest, sorry, one of the biggest issues and one of the biggest changes I could make, and that was my plate, the food that was coming onto my plate, I wasn't, I wasn't changing my diet, I was changing my shoes, I was changing, I was recycling clothes, those kind of things, but we need to think about our plates. And on top of that, we need to think about who is on our plate. If we're still eating animals, we need to think about who, who, who was that? Who was that animal that was on my plate? <laughs>